Okay, we're at 2169 West 29th Street in Los Angeles, 90018. Now, the homeowner wanted me to check the sewer line because apparently when they had the, uh, uh, the um, earthquake people over here that he noticed that there was dampness underneath the house. So we crawled underneath the house. We had a look at the plumbing. Most of it's all been replaced with ABS plastic except where it underneath the house for about seven feet and underneath the foundation of the house to the outside is a cast iron pipe that's getting very old and it does show signs of dampness. Now, once we were in the line, we decided that we would push the camera as far as we could. This is as far as we could push the camera. We're actually in the street just beyond the curb where we've come to some roots in the line and we cannot get our camera through there. You can see, so we're just going to bring the camera back from here. We, we pushed the camera, you can see pretty heavy roots over there. And it comes back to a cast iron pipe that's getting pretty old. But this is way out by the sidewalk. We're underneath the sidewalk now, far away from the unit in the back. And obviously this pipe is going underground. That's obviously an old cast iron pipe. But I doubt very much if this has any effect on what's happening underneath the house in the back. What I think is probably happening is that the piece of cast iron underneath the house to the outside is obviously leaking and that's why it shows signs of dampness. The lady that lives in the back of here said that she hasn't had any problems with the sewer line. So obviously... It hasn't blocked up or anything else. You'd probably have much more water underneath the house. But we had a look at the old cast iron pipe underneath the house. You could tell that they had left pieces behind. It was very badly cracked. Very old pipe. little bit of ABS plastics, probably a clean out or maybe picking up the house in the front. Running alongside the house, if you face the house on the left hand side from the street. Come back real thick, right over, come back, right over here, the pipe is pretty badly broken, right over there, the pipe is pretty badly broken, we've located that right next to the electrical meters, just on the outside of the front house, so that's pretty badly broken that anyway. Now it's going to start coming underneath the main house with a little piece of clay pipe. Obviously that might have been built on at some stage. But now we're coming uh, between the two units, the back unit and the front unit. There are some roots over here. This is a clay pipe that we're in. But it's clear though. The line is clear. Now right over here is where the pipe exits the house. I put a little green dot on the concrete over here. So this is going to, this is just on the outside of the back house. Let's keep coming back a little bit. Again, this very old cast iron pipe. This we definitely want to recommend to be replaced because because of the dampness underneath the house, we would definitely recommend that this section of cast iron be replaced. A clean out should be installed on the outside. I think definitely would be a good idea to repair the break in the pipe below the electrical meters and maybe then hydrojet the sewer line very carefully. You, you don't want to put too much pressure on. Now, you don't want to put too much pressure on the cast iron uh, because you don't want to break it. So it would have to be hydrojetted very carefully. Now we're underneath the house over here and it comes back to ABS plastic. This was obviously replaced at some stage. And this all looks good over here.
Here it comes out of the clean out over here in the little parking space over here where they park their cars over here. Okay, and we'll stop the recording over here.